Hi, welcome to Peace Donkeys. Today I'm going to show you how to make this dog collar. This is uh, a modified, sanctified with a boot lace in the middle. Um, the, now I've made this adjustable on the ends because the prong from your buckle won't actually go through that section there. So you just need to be mindful of that. Um, another thing you want to watch out for, I didn't realise till the end, but I've actually put the buckle on back to front. You actually need the roller part to be over this side. Um, yeah, so I was spewing when I realised that I'd done it the wrong way, um, especially since I got up at Sparrowfart to make this. So just be beware that you um, put your buckle around the right way. So yeah, I'll go ahead and show you how I made this um, dog collar. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is attach your cord to your buckle. Just bring it around your buckle and make a cow hitch. And then what you want to do is just secure that uh, with another cow hitch. So just get your cord, go up to the outside of the hitch you just made. Bring it through the buckle and back down through the loop there. Pull that through. Pull all that cord through. That just gives it a little bit extra security on the buckle. And then you'll do the same on the other side. Get the cord, put it up through the buckle again. And then just bring it down through that loop there. And just pull all that cord through. Now I need some kind of jig um, or some piece of wood with some nails in the end, whatever you've got. So you'll attach a buckle here, measure your cord along to where you want to start. When you're ready to start, you're going to put the right strand over the centre, left strand goes over that, around the back of everything and up through the loop out the other side. And pull that just nice and firm. Then put the left strand across the centre, right strand goes over around the back of everything and up out the other side. Just pull that firm. Now you want to open up your loops on the end. And you're going to take your other piece of cord, your contrast colour, and you're going to feed it up through one loop out through the other loop and then you're going to pull that through until you've got all your cord through to the halfway point. Then you can tighten up your loops, tighten up the first little braid and then you're going to attach your work. I'm just using a little bit of spare cord here to attach the work to my nail so that you can put a bit of tension on your work while you're going. And just tighten up that so that you're ready to go. Okay, so you're ready to start with your pattern. So the black cord comes up through the centre and out the other side. Your other black cord comes up through the centre and out the other side. Your contrast colour comes up through the centre. And then it goes over everything and out through the black loop on the same side. The other strand comes up through the centre. It's going to go out through this loop on the same side as well. Okay, and then you just tighten that up. Then we do it again. 
black stream comes up through the center and out. Other black stream comes up through the center and out the other side. Contrast color comes up through the center, out through the black loop on the same side. The other contrast comes up through the center, out through the black loop on the same side. And just tighten those up. So this is your sanctified. Just zoom in a bit so you can see that. Black. Other black. Contrast. Comes up through the centre. Goes out the same side through the black loop. Same with the other side. Up through the centre, out through the black loop on the same side. Tighten up all your strands. Okay, so you're going to just keep on with that pattern for as long as you want the adjustable part of your collar to be. And once you've gone as far as you want that to be adjustable, then you're ready to start the rest of it. Okay, so I've gone along about six and a half inches on mine, and I'm going to start the next section. So you just go back to the original pattern to start with. So black through on both sides, your contrast comes up and out, other contrast comes up and out the same side. Now just tighten them up just a little bit and then what you're going to do is you join your two pieces of cord together and you put one through the middle and bring one color through okay so now we're going to tighten up the rest of the strands and we're ready to start okay so we go back to the sanctified black and black Contrast on one side, contrast colour on the other side. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to bring one colour over those, those centre black strands. Then it'll go under and it'll come out the left hand side of itself. Okay, the other strand is going to come over, under and out the left hand side of itself also. Okay, this is just to get started. So tighten up all of your strands. Okay, so we go back to our main pattern, black and black, out the opposite sides, your contrast colour up through the middle and out the same side, same with the other piece.
Okay, so now the orange was on the right side, so it's going to cross over to the left side. Okay, it's going to go under those center strands and up to the left hand side of itself. Okay, so it's going to come over to the left side. The pink strand is going to cross over to the right side. It's going to go under the black center strand and it will come up to the left hand side of itself. Pull the cord through. Okay, so now we're going to tighten up the black and the contrast. And we'll tighten up the pink and we'll tighten up the orange. Okay, just put them out of the way for a minute. Back to your sanctified. So black strands up through the centre, out the opposite side. Contrast up and out the same side. Okay. So this time the pink is going to come over the centre strands and under. And it'll come back out the left hand side of itself, that pink strand. Okay, comes then it pushes over to the left, and then the orange piece crosses over to the right side. It goes under that black center strands and again up to the left hand side of itself. Okay, and then we tighten up all the strands, so your black your diamonds, your orange, and your pink. And again, back, contrast, and then your two center strands tighten up. Okay, so do your black strands in the middle, contrast, other contrast, Just tighten them up a little bit. Okay, so your cords will always swap sides. If your orange is over on the right side, it's going to come over to the left. So underneath, up the left hand side of itself. Okay, and because your pink's on the left, it's going to crisscross over to the right side. And go under the black center strands and up the left hand side of itself. Okay, then we tighten up everything black, contrast, and your center strands. And once again, black, contrast, and your center strands. Okay, this time, pink's going to come down first, go under the black centre strands and up to the left hand side of itself. Push it over to the left and then your orange is going to come over to the right side. It'll go under the black centre strands and it'll come up to the left hand side of itself. Okay, and then tighten up all your work. Okay, so you can start to see which one needs to come where now. So your orange comes down, 
because it's on the right, it's going to come down first and up to the left side of itself. Then your pink is going to cross over and your pink is going to go on the right side. It'll go over your centre strands and under and back up the left hand side of itself. Tighten up all your strands and again black. Contrast, pink, orange. You see that pattern starting to take shape there? So you just keep going along with that pattern until you get to where you want to put your D ring in, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I've got to the part where I'm ready to put my D ring in. So because I've already got it on there, I'm just going to slide it up. I'm going to crisscross the black strands as usual, but I'm going to go through the middle of the D-ring. And then your contrast colour, it's going to go through the middle of the D-ring and then out through the loop as usual. Same on the other side, bring it up through the centre and then take it through the middle of the D-ring and then out your loop. Okay, so my pink strand's on the right, so it's going to go down first. It'll go under the D-ring, back out through the middle of the D-ring. Okay, and then the orange is going to cross over to the other side, so bring it through the D-ring. Take it under the D-ring, up through the centre, to the left of itself. Okay, and then you'll tighten up all those strands. Okay, so your black, your contrast, and your two centre cords. Just tighten those up as much as you can. Okay, and then you'll just keep going along with the rest of your pattern. Black and black. The contrast colour. Contrast. Orange is going to come under and up to the left side of itself. The pink is going to cross over. It's going to go under the black and back up to the left of itself. Tighten up all of your strands. It's going to come down and up to the left of itself. Orange is going to cross over to the right, go under, and back through to the left side of itself again. Tighten up all your strands, and you can see that's your D ring securely in place. just keep going along until you get to the end. So I'm almost at the end. Um, I'm going to stop doing the centre colours now and I'm just going to finish off with just the two sanctified colours, the black and the contrast, just so that I don't have too many strands all ending in the one spot.
Okay, so we've got all those done there. Okay, so with my colours, I'm just going to cut off the end of my cord. Just melt it a bit. And then I'm going to put a fit on the end. I'm actually just going to poke these cords through to the other side. So I'm going to get down, down through there, bring it up the other side. And I'll do the same with the pink and then I'll just melt those there. Off and melt at that point there. Push them down onto themselves. Once that's a bit done, just make sure that's smooth. So I'm going to take my black strand and I'm going to go down through the middle. Up the next one. And down again to the other side. I'll do the same with the other black, take those down through the centre. Okay, so I'll melt those, cut those and melt those there as well. And with the contrast colours, I'm just going to go through that black one next to it. These ones are fairly secure anyway, but I'd just like to give it another one to go through. Okay, and you do the same on the other side. And so then there's your dog collar finished. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.